we're gonna have my first podcast tip of the year. We're gonna run through some plays of the year, and then we're gonna and see if Madden has it right and who I think red zone as the award winners of the year. Alright, so we're gonna jump here into our Sports Center top ten plays of the year. Alright. Get the music going, let's go. Alright, number ten coming at ya. As they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Dolphins line here. What's going to happen here? For the Lions, right, we got Josh Jones the quarterback. The now, we know what's going down. on. You got Preston Williams lined up wide out right. You got a step in coverage. Nice That'll touchdown there. Right Black Magic to Preston Williams. All right, we got number nine. We got Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz rolling out wide. Deshaun Jackson deep has a step on his man. Didn't get to lead him just enough, but a nice big play to Deshaun Jackson there. Next, we got number eight. We got Dallas Cowboys versus the New York Football Giants. Daniel Jones back to rolling out right. And Ha Ha Clinton gets jumping over Evan the Ingram there for the pick in the end zone. Nice catch there. Alright, got number seven. Just a yard on the first down Looks carry, like so it's Washington second and football nine. team versus the Cleveland Browns. Got Alex Smith in that quarterback. Play action, play Antonio Gibbs gets him streaking right. He leads him up. Sims. Nice pass, nice and catch over caught. Joseph Inside for the, the touchdown. Sims in your Washington football team. Number six coming at you. We got Steelers versus the Browns. Grant Delphi jumping over. Picks off Jake Trump. He's going to take it 95 yards back to the house. Juju has no chance on catching it. Good play Grant Delphi. That's number six. All right. Number five. We got New York Jets for New England Patriots. Joe Flacco in a quarterback in the first quarter. We got Flacco play action and running the back. Sets the throw. Got Mims over right in one of one hand and catch. Joe Flacco. Two. Nice. Catch. And that's number five. What's happening here? All right, coming in at number four. Looks like we got Arizona Cardinals versus Philadelphia Eagles. Thompson playing a deep safety. Carson Wentz drops back. Carson Wentz rolling around. Throws it deep on the run again. Thompson with a user interception. Nice user. That's up there for the users. We all know it. Number three on the Sports Center top ten. First downs have them up. Yeah, Indianapolis Colts starts to the Green Bay Packers. Phillip Rivers play action. Steps back. He's rolling out right. Philip Rivers on the front. Throws it on the run to Jonathan Taylor. He reaches out with the grab it. Touchdown. Touchdown. Nice catch. Coming in at number two. You know who it is. Big Ben in here in overtime again. Baltimore Ravens. Take a step back. Chase Staples got a step. Keeps in bounds. Tackle. Touchdown for the win. That's the Steelers' biggest win of the season. And unfortunately, one of the few wins that they actually got. Number one. I think anybody that saw this play knew it was going to be number one. There's no doubt. DJ Moore going up deep. Jumps up over top. Gets up. Takes off for the 82 yard. Touchdown. touchdown. I think we gotta see it again. Alright, let's see this again. That, that, I mean that might be might be catching the cycle. 
Alright, let's get through this. Look at this. Jumps over the top, one-handed grab, flips over the top, stands up, and keeps going. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. That was nuts. Alright guys, I want to thank everybody that submitted their clips here to me. I really appreciate all the clips coming in. That's what I have to work with. If you don't like what my top 10 is, guess what? Send in some clips for next time. That is your Red Zone highlights of the first season. Alright, so let's get into some of these awards. All right, NFL MVP. Let's throw music back on. We got Derrick Henry, Aaron Jones, Lamar Jackson, Kenyon Drake, Josh Jacobs right out the top five. I think everybody knows it's gotta be Derrick Henry. This man is a freaking bulldozer. It's nuts. He just can't. He's averaged like 160 yards a game. I think he's gonna be probably the unanimous league MVP. Coach of the Year, Madden has it as Blueprint with the Ravens. <sighs> I don't know. In my opinion, I think Coach of the Year is going to be Aston down there. That's taking the Broncos to 13-3. and three. Madden disagrees, but my opinion, I think we're going Aston. That's taking the Broncos to 13-3. and three. All right. AFC Offensive Play of the Year. Who wins MVP? He wins AFC. Offensive play of the year. We got Derrick Henry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know who else should make an argument for. It's Derrick Henry. Defensive play of the year. Uh, you got Justin Simmons, Mika Fitzpatrick, Derek Barnett, Obi Melifano, and Devin Bush. I think just the sheer fact that Justin Simmons has so many picks, his team's 13 and 3. Uh, Minka made a good run at it, but yeah, I agree with Madden. That's why I think Justin Simmons is the AFC Defensive Player of the Year. Rugs, like, it was monster. Top five in yards, top five touchdowns as a rookie. He's the offensive rookie of the year. Claypool made a good run at it. Clyde Edwards, Clyde Edwards Alaire made a late season push. Yes, but offensive rookie of the year is Henry Ruggs. Hands down. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, Madden has his Patrick Queen, who played out of his mind. He is a linebacker. I think it's a little bit easier for them. I honestly, I'm leaning towards Justin Blackman. I think he had a great year, a lot of picks. He really helped out that Colts team. Uh, but I'm not going to fault anybody that goes to Patrick Queen. But I just, I don't know why. I just like Justin Blackman this year. Best QB. Ugh. Like. Definitely not Mahomes. Lamar Jackson's numbers were good. They weren't great. Uh. I think. I mean, Derek Carr's best receiver was a rookie receiver. So yeah, I think I think we're going Derek Carr. Drew Lock though, if you pick Drew Lock, I, I ain't gonna be mad at you. That man had a phenomenal season. It's, it was a close race. So yeah, I think Derek Carr. Best running back, duh, is Derek Henry. Nothing else you just said. Wide receiver. Man, this 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 became a close race near the end. Uh, but being a playoff team, being a rookie. I think you give best wide receiver to Ruggs too. This man is a monster. I'm not. I'm not gonna look forward to playing this man in the AFC later down the road. Like he's awesome. Best O line. Like, yeah, Ronnie Stanley was great, but like to be honest, I'm giving it to the Tennessee Titans offensive line. Like that whole offensive line. Let Derrick Henry run. I'm pretty sure over 2,000 yards at this point. Like, I'm, I'm giving it to the Titans offensive line. Oh, a whole line. D-line. Derek Barnett. Great season. Uh, consistent. Late season push. I mean, this man this man did it all this year. I mean, I, I ain't mad at it. Miles Garrett had a solid season. 
But yeah, I, I'm gonna go Derek Barnett. I agree with Madden on this one. Linebacker. I'm, yeah. It's my guy. He's my guy. He's my linebacker. But I'm going with him. Devin Bush led the league in tackles. He, I think he led all linebackers with deflections. He was up there in tackles for loss, a couple sacks, a couple interceptions. This man played out of his mind. I'm pumped. I, I think he deserves it. I hope everybody else agrees. Devin Bush, best linebacker. Best DB. This dude, this man ran defensive play of the year. He wins best DB. Justin Simmons, man. He's lights out in that Broncos secondary. Lights out. Like, I don't know what else to say. This, this man, I played him this year. I think he had three picks on me. Like, he's great. Give it to him. Best kicker. Uh, like, sure, I don't look at the kicking stats, so I'm just going to go with Matt on this one. Say Josh Lambeau probably kicked a shit ton of field goals. Field goals. Like, sure. Let's go with it. Josh Lambeau, best kicker. Chalk it up. Let's go. All right. On to the NFC. NFC Offensive Player of the Year. Aaron Jones close in the uh, MVP voting. Sad not to see any quarterbacks like in the top four. But yeah, I think Aaron Jones, great year, monster year for Lefty. I think part of the reason Lefty made the playoffs. So yeah, I think Aaron Jones offensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year. Like, we got we got people in this top like Aaron Donald, monster. Bobby Wagner, monster. Anthony Barr, I think he's a monster. Uh, but I think if you're talking about a guy that disrupts every play in and out every single play like it's, it's Aaron Donald defensive play of the year this dude is a monster don't want to play him don't want to see him on my schedule he's coming at the quarterback every play offensive rookie of the year I don't feel like these the rookies in the NFC had as big an impact on their team as the ones in the AFC but Justin Jefferson quietly had a really good year. Antonio Gibson had a really solid year. And now, uh, number one guy there in Washington uh, did really good. It's, it's really close between these two. But I, I am going to lean Justin Jefferson helping out those Minnesota Vikings. That number one overall pick that they got a haul for. Man, that, that's a crazy trade deal. But congratulations, Justin Jefferson. I think you're going to be offensive rookie of the year. I don't know if this is Justin Simmons' little brother, but Isaiah Simmons, like, hands down, defensive rookie of the year. I called him early, early on when I was on the podcast on the Odd Guys with Ikem and DM. Like, this, this man's all over the place, all over the field, getting picks, making tackles. I was going to be surprised if there's anybody else. Isaiah Simmons, defensive rookie of the year. Congrats, kids. SQB, yeah, I think I, I agree with Madden. Carson Wentz had a solid year through, I think, like 22 picks. Like, not not bad, but he threw a lot of yards. He led that team. I don't feel like the run game was super strong. I think they leaned on Wentz a lot. I think he got the job done. Man, man just good. Best QB in the NFC. Chalk it up, Carson Wentz. Running back, this man Wentz offensive play of the year. Second MVP voting. He's the best running back in the NFC. Give it to him. Wide receiver. I I mean, this dude had catch of the year. Give him wide receiver of the year. I mean, that catch was nuts. If you don't believe me, like go go back and watch it. Can we look at it one more time. Okay, we'll look at it one more time. Look at this catch. Look at this catch. How do you make that catch? Are you not the best wide receiver in the NFC? Give it to the man. Touchdown. Give it to him. Chalk it up. DJ Moore, best wide receiver. Best O line. I mean, these guys kept Carson Wentz upright to throw all those yards. Yeah. Lane Johnson, Jason Kelsey, Brandon Brooks. If you don't give it to them, you give it to the any one of those guys. You give it to the uh, one of the Packers offensive line. Uh, David Bakhtiari, he's up there. Like, not surprising. But, yeah, it's either Eagles or Packers line. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with Lane Johnson. I'm good. Aaron Donald, defensive play, like, 
I mean, what, I mean, this dude. Yeah, give it to. Him. He's just a wrecking ball. Like you can't, you can't say enough about Aaron Donald. Like just give the man all the awards every year till he retires, and just talk about he's gonna be there every time. That's linebacker Shaquille Barrett. Yeah. Uh, Devin White. This, the, I mean, that linebacker core there and Tampa Bay, phenomenal. Like they're they're good in and out. They help lead that team to 13 and three. Shaq Barrett, like, dude, all over the field, making sacks, making tackles, making plays when he has to drop back coverage. Yeah, Shaq Barrett. Anthony Barr made a good run at it, young man. But uh, just Shaq Barrett barely beat you out. SDB. Now, I'm a little surprised that Isaiah Simmons isn't here. Uh, I really thought he would, but Kyle Fuller had a great year, but I think some of the plays I saw Pat Pete make, like, I I'm giving him the edge. He made some great picks. He, he locks down a whole side of the field. Every, every play he's on. He had some great picks, one-on-one -on -one in coverage. He just need to help safety help over the top. I'm gonna go Patrick Peterson, the best defensive back in the NFC. And like I said over there, I didn't look at kickers. So Eddie Panero, congratulations. Man says you're the best kicker in the league. I'm gonna agree with him. I don't know. All right, but congratulations, young man. All right, so that King Sean top 10 plays of the year my award predictions I know it's short it's my first one we're gonna come back with some of these later I hope you guys like some of the graphics and some of the stuff I put up uh, all this is live no editing so I appreciate all you guys uh, give me tips give me talking points that you guys might want to hear me talk about and of course uh, one last time the premiere Xbox One, Sim League, Red Zone. This is a good league, guys. Thanks for having me in the league. Thanks for having me here. Appreciate all the content. Good luck to everybody but Moji in the playoffs. I want that big below emoji. You guys have a good evening. Good luck.